I accidentally watched Carefree twice within a short space of time and when I realised that I was watching a film I'd already seen a few months ago, I kept on watching it because I really enjoyed Carefree. This was released in 1938, directed by Mark Sandridge with a screenplay by Ernest Pagano and Alan Scott and stars the fabulous Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, who are always great together, but I'm particularly fond of Fred Astaire. I just think his movements are so exquisite and so amazing to watch. In addition to fabulous movement, Carefree has an amazing, amazing narrative that was executed perfectly. According to IMDb, a psychiatrist falls in love with the woman he's supposed to be nudging into marriage with someone else. When... So Tony is, gi is giving... Amanda this therapy and when she's under she begins to have some changes of thought and sometimes it can get quite intense I won't spoil it but there's a scene kind of towards the end before the film's climax that's um, unexpected and quite violent and, and um, not certainly not what I had expected and the execution of that is great particularly the camera angles in that scene or though that sequence of scenes is um Really enjoyable, really interesting look at the character as well and how she's responded to this psychiatry. Especially given it was the 1930s when it maybe had a different, people had a different attitude towards it to what they would now. But even before that scene near the end, the rest of it is absolutely fantastic. The characters go on obviously a really great journey as we see Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers as characters having a different journey together. And... This gives us some really, really exquisite, beautiful performances from Rogers and Astaire. Some lovely dances in a very beautiful location. The scenery in this is absolutely stunning and it acts as the perfect backdrop for this comedic little dramatic musical. And, I mean, it's, it's not a, it is a musical, but it's not the most musical musical. It's not song after song after song. It's quite well balanced. So if you're the kind of person who doesn't like musicals that are entirely sung, this one will be okay for you. The costumes look beautiful. The acting is great. The performances are exquisite. The execution of the narrative is brilliant. The pacing is fabulous. I have no complaints about this. As I said, I watched it twice. The second time accidentally because I put on the wrong film. But the use of hypnosis in this is is brilliant with comedic effects. It's a little bit of a screwball, which sometimes I don't like, but this film really ticks all of the boxes for me. It's absolutely exquisite. I really, really enjoy it. As I said, 1938, but I think this film will last forever because it's just, it's great fun. It's unpredictable with fabulous performances. Rated seven out of 10 on IMDb, which I completely get. That's a brilliant score, very well worth it was nominated for three Academy Awards, was nominated for the Best Art Direction, Best Music Original Song by Irvin Berlin for Change Partners and Dance With Me, and Best Music Scoring. Sadly, it didn't win any of those. It hasn't got any awards. But who cares? The film itself is brilliant. The film stands as its own trophy. It is a credit to itself. If you haven't seen Carefree, regardless of what kind of films you like, I think this is a film that any film fan will enjoy. It is beautiful.